Hey, Second Skin, we're live! Welcome everybody! to this week's Minor League Tag Pro Live, your go-to source for Minor League Tag Pro, bringing you an entertaining and high-quality stream every Monday night. I am your play-by-play -play commentator, Second Skin, joined tonight by Surf. Hey, everybody. I'm going to hope to be entertaining. <laughs> Thank you very much, Surf. Uh, tonight's matchup is between the third place in the conference, Holden Gate Warriors, versus the first place in the conference, Texas Hold'em. Uh, Holden Gate Warriors has a 32 cap differential and a season record of 8-4-2. and two. Coming off a, a split and a, a sweep in their last four games, uh, looking forward to continue that trend there. While uh, Holden Gate's looking to hold on to that top conference rank with their 28 cap differential and 9-2-3 and three season record. They're coming off a couple of splits here, so they're looking to bounce back and get a sweep as well and solidify their position for the playoffs. And for uh, Hold or Texas Hold'em, they are currently in first place with a 28-point cap differential. Their uh, season record is 9 wins, 2 ties, 3 losses. And for that team, it looks like they're going to be swapping out a whole bunch of players. Um, so from what we're told, uh, their current roster is going to be starting out with uh, the player team, most likely. And... Uh, then maybe a swap out between Matoy, Ryoko, and Legion for offense. Uh, rounding up their defense is going to be Dodge and Ralph Wiggum potentially swapping, and Yang. And for the Holden Gate Warriors, their uh, starting offense is likely to be Iron Ball and Ego. Uh, on defense, they're looking to start Lalu Grumpy and AP That's Me. So, uh, looking for a great defensive uh, pairing from those two. They're uh, pretty familiar with them each other as they've played in the uh, Majesto Crowman coaching tree. So, they've uh, been on Spaceballs and I've watched Holden Gate before. So, they're infinitely familiar with how, how Curry likes to run his team and uh, looking forward to a good defensive performance from those two. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a good map. Um, so, first map is going to be Constriction. Now, this is one of my favorite maps in the game, uh, especially ever since uh, Boombox was discontinued. Uh, Constriction is one of those maps where you really get tested on your fundamentals. You need to know where you need to position yourself. Um, grabbing is relatively easy because there's a lot of boosts around base, and uh, but it's a little bit of a tight spot, so you have to grab with... Uh, uh, with a little bit of a plan ahead of time. Um, defensively on this map, you really want to plug those holes. Uh, you'll see there's, you know, three main alleyways that you're probably that offenders are probably going to go through, and most defenders usually just try to uh, stay stay ahead and uh, keep those holes plugged, make sure offenders don't get around them. Uh, but very good map for fundamentals. Lots of bombs, some good use of boosts everywhere, uh, and of course your three main power ups. That's right. Uh, make sure, we'll we'll focus on this as well, but make sure you guys watch those super boosts for some exciting plays. It's always where some uh, last second saves can uh, really happen. But the second map we're having is going to be Thinking with Portals. This is a community map voted in this season for, for MLTP and Miners as well. It's a very chaotic map. It's one of my favorites in competitive just because the score can change so quickly. And of course, the most important part of thinking with portals is the bombs. I'm kidding, it's the portals, obviously. Thinking with portals requires you to think with those portals. So watch for some interesting portal usage, some uh, some portal poosts into the spikes there at the at the bases, and hopefully some neat escapes and some even, uh, even neater caps. Cool. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> so, uh, once again, we're going to be starting here in just a little bit of time, and I'd like to introduce us, introduce all of you viewers to our halftime game, the uh, Jump Up Challenge. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be choosing three participants at random 
in order to be eligible to play in the Jump Up Halftime Challenge, you have to be a follower of Minor League Tag Pro Live, be on North American Mumble, and comment exclamation point jump in the chat. That's all you have to do is say exclamation point jump. Two seconds again. How many times have you played this Jump Up Challenge? I've done it once with uh, one of my other uh, color commentators that joined me earlier in the season, and I got absolutely smoked, but it was some <laughs> of the most fun I've ever had. It's a really fun little thing. I've played it maybe uh, seven or eight times just in test map practicing myself, and uh, boy is it fun. There's actually a lot of strategy to it, and it's always a good time. Yeah, I... Um... I really enjoyed it. I think it's it's really fun. I like the unlimited or almost unlimited jumps. I really think that it's a clever usage of, you know, a team-based competition. And it's quick, it's simple, it doesn't take too much to understand, and people are really fighting for those leaderboard spots because we have a special contest that the top three on the leaderboard when this season ends will be competing in the final jump up challenge during the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. So right now, uh, leaderboard looks like Fractal, Mr. Joe Hobo, and Beast Mode at the top three. But uh, Dodge is not too far behind, and it looks like some looks like there's a lot of chances left. Uh, my money's on Beast Mode. I, I don't, you know, I don't know why. I'm just going to throw my money at him. Mr. Joe Hobo is also a, a good bet as well. Uh, I don't know about Fractal. Do you know anything about Fractal? I uh, actually did not get to see when he uh, accomplished his uh, leaderboard spot, but anyone who's able to get that many pups, uh, it's really going to really going to be able to do well in the final game if they make it there. So all those guys looking forward to it. Though I do think that final challenge is going to be a little bit closer than some of our other ones have been, so that may skew some results for or against some people. So well, I've got a second. I just like to talk uh, while we're waiting for some people to finish jumping on and get ready for that channel to officially start. Uh, just talk a little bit more about the teams. Uh, it looks like Ralph Wiggum is in fact going to be in there uh, for the Texas Hold'em. I don't know about you, but every time I think of Ralph Wiggum, I actually picture the face of Ralph Wiggum. I don't, I don't, <laughs> he's a nice guy. I've played, with him at, I've played with him in a lot of pubs. Great person, but... Every time I see the Ralph Wiggum name, it just reminds me of his face running around the around the maze. It's fun. <laughs> and uh, a couple of changes looking forward to here for the uh, Holden Gate Warriors, as Mr. Bucket and Big Money are going to be in, replacing uh, Ego, who we'd perceived would come in, and also AP, that's me. So a little bit of change on both the offensive de defensive sides. Lalu, Grumpy, and Iron Ball still going to be in there. And uh, I know you hear me pronouncing his name as Lalu, and that's because he, he never intended to be L-O-L-U Grumpy. He really wanted to be called Lalu this entire time. <laughs> yeah, my favorite player on that team right now is Big Money. Uh, mostly because anytime I'm in Mumble, he'll look me up and find me and say hi. He's a good guy. It's always fun to, to talk to. All right. So it looks it's like... going to be interesting to see how Texas Hold'em plays out. It looks like they have three people who could potentially play offense uh, going on, go, uh, starting right now. So I'm curious to see who ends up playing offense and who ends up playing defense here. Yeah, that's always uh, always some risk when you have uh, two-way players is which position each of them takes, but it also makes it really easy for spawn changing and stuff like that. They have a lot of two-way players. There's a lot of rotation going on with that team. And we're just about to start here, counting down. Once again, majors and minors always has that first minute of delayed pups, which I really enjoy. So Three, no spawn two, strats or one, fight one, for one. pups here at the beginning. Just good, clean start. So it looks like Matoy and Legion are going on offense first. Iron Ball with a quick grab right off the bat, uh, trying to get by Ralph Wiggum using that wall right now. And Legion for the... Uh, Excuse me for Texas hold them also with the flag, but Lalu Grumpy sitting on that uh, boost trying to contain him there. Big Iron with a great block on Yank to give Iron a little bit more room. Didn't work out for him though. Legion now ahead of three. Big Money's got to stay alive. Gets just by Yank, but uh, bounces off that wall. And Legion's gonna walk in for the first cap of the game. That was a big risk. He thought he had time. Turned out, uh, turned out uh, they got back really quick. 
Legion had a great block on Iron Ball there to push him out of the way, but Big Money was in position to get that return. We're seeing a little bit of a regrab train here from the Texas Hold'em, and Iron Ball and Mr. Bucket are trying to just contain him in here. And they do. Nice job by Iron Ball to get that. Legion had a smart move by waiting uh, for a McCoy to come in and give him a block. This turned out it didn't work out too well for him there. Two tag pros for the Holden Gate Warriors. This is a big advantage for them. Lalu Grumpy with a great juke along the bottom wall there. You see Ralph he, Wiggum doing essentially all he can to stay with that tag pro, but also stay ahead. Well, the Grumpy almost misses the flag, and Tori Ryoku almost gets that return there, but he's just able to get it there right before. So he had a really good chance with that bomb, just didn't hit it the right way. Yeah. That was a real dangerous for the Holden Gate Warriors as they tie the game up 1-1 one one with 8 minutes and 20 seconds left. Alright, looks like Texas Holden uh, got their bearings back on defense again. They do have a reset for them, but Yank is out. That is nice. That was a good good boost by Yank, just able to slide by Mr. Bucket there. But Lalu Grumpy and Mr. Bucket are containing him very well there. Mr. Bucket's staying incredibly safe, uh, waiting for that mid-pup, and he will be able to pick it up. Uh, but he's going to leave it, and Legion instead will grab it. Yank and, made the right decision back there as well. Instead of contending and trying to go through one of the holes, he just threw another player back and used the bombs to uh, shoot past them. Once again, dangerous situation here for Texas Hold'em, as Yank is contained by big money, but a nice wall juke and a kiss from him. Smart. Iron Ball now out ahead at two. Can't get by Legion though. Nice positioning by him to get uh, right in that lane, preventing him from getting any further. And a reset for both squads. So looking looking at these guys right here, we've already seen two uh, relatively quick caps here on Constriction, and not a lot of fighting for the pups. Uh, the Holden Gate Warriors have really dominated pups so far. Just uh, been there at the right times and able to get them. Oh, we had a lot of fights with pups right there. Looks like uh, Iron Ball. Oh, Iron Ball's even getting a fight too. Yeah, mid was mid's very delayed. It's already at 50, so expect that to uh, be a difference maker here. As both the bases are well before mid. Iron Ball using that rolling bomb pretty much as well as he could. This Ralph's match is uh, once you're out, you have to really find a way to to boost your way ahead, it's not going to be easy to slowly make your way ahead. Good uh, good return to positioning by Yank and Ralph as they stop Big Money from being able to get a re-grab there. We've, uh, <laughs> we had a, a fast-paced first couple minutes and it has really slowed down now as uh, we're seeing some of the more defensive of these, uh, the defensive side of these teams really shine. I'm yeah, really come... curious how he super boosted all the way from one side of the map to the other. That was pretty interesting. That super boost, depending on how you hit it, can be incredibly different, even just by a fraction. Nice job by Matori. And uh, Yank with that Juke Juice is going to be able to get some damage done on defense. Yeah, it seems like Iron Ball really knows how to time that middle puff. And Legion's going to try to get out. Mr. Bucket misses that bomb snipe there as we're uh, waiting here for this. And what a juke by Legion to get just by Mr. Bucket. Nice and a job, nice Legion. snipe by Yang. Oh, oh, they couldn't get around Iron Ball. Oh, heartbreaking. One to beat and Iron Ball was just in the right position and just stayed very patient, allowed him to make the return there. I think Legion was kind of hoping that Iron Ball would have assumed the juke was coming. Legion, nice timing on that super boost, but Mr. Bucket's in position for that return. Matori, Matoy? How do you pronounce yeah. that? Matoy. It's like my toy. Yeah. <laughs> Go with that. <laughs> so Mr. Bucket uh, no getting double teamed, and Matoy got that tower, got that uh, attack, bro. Very close there. I uh, I actually thought that the Holden Gate Warriors had a real chance to get that pup even after the double team, but he was just able to to roll off them there. And hasn't been able to get a lot done with it. They're still not out with the the flag yet, and he goes flag pro. Ralph Wiggum with that juke juice can be really dangerous. Oh, oh, big Ooh. money, sneaky. He barely gets by Yank. Saves the team a cap. That was very close from Big Money. He almost got returned there. It was just a couple pixels off as they were. 
that that's a uh, I'm gonna say fifty percent luck and fifty percent skill. <laughs> Let's Possibly give the benefit of the doubt and say fifty one percent skill. It also could have been ten percent concentrated power of will there. <laughs> Yank with the flag though, he's got four in front of him, he's gotta do something here. And nice job getting by Mr. Bucket, who's been prone to swing as I've as we've seen so far in this map. He's taken a couple of big swings and uh, has come out on the wrong side of him right now. But here's a real chance for the Holden Gate Warriors to get a cap as Iron Balls uh, just got a return there. Yanks in there, and he's got a tag pro. Can he get by? Yes, he can. Nice Ooh, job, Iron nice Ball. Yeah. We're lucky to get Ralph Wiggum in that. Ralph Wiggum is actually, even though he started on defense, he's a very, very uh, adept offensive carrier. Yeah, difference, the difference there in that, in my opinion, is that uh, Rolling Bomb Defusal killed one of the Texas Hold'em members, which really gave him that advantage. Oh yeah, one of the best things to do against the Rolling Bomb is to use it against the team that has it. It always puts a smile on your face. Kind of like sniping someone into the spikes, always fun to do. <laughs> For sure. Yank now ahead of three. Yank ahead of three, They've, there's some good blocks on Big Money. This could, oh, Big Money saves this team of cap again. And giving him a chance to get out. Iron Ball's got the flag, but he's not going to be able to get past Yank and Ralph Wiggum there. Ralph got an uncontested tag pro. Looks like, uh... Uh, looks like Holden Gate might be forgetting their power-up timers. Yeah, as, uh, Texas Holden's able to get all three power-ups, two tag pros, and this is going to be an easy walk yeah, in for the cap. Yeah, Duke use of two tag pros on this map is left you for a cap. Yeah! Skinny Cho telling, uh... Telling him how well they did, he's very pleased with that. <laughs> did you ever watch the World Cup and watch that Mexico, uh, Mexico's uh, team captain? I, I, uh, I'm a big fan of the World Cup, but I haven't watched any anything for this uh, upcoming year, this uh, upcoming World Cup. So, oh, that was a very nice cap by Legion. Beautiful job getting out. Beautiful job getting into base, and now we're waiting for another puff battle here. Uh, as Matoy is able to grab a rolling bomb and trying to use it to get out. The reason I brought that up is because the uh, the captain of, of uh, Team Mexico was known for highly celebrating any time his team does well. Like he'll, he'll he's like this bigger guy and just jumps up and down the sideline, so celebrating his uh, team's points, and it's actually pretty entertaining to watch. And here we go with Matoy with that Tag Pro lead. It runs out just the wrong time. As he's got to get by two defenders, he's trying to go through the back and just can't can't get very much done. Well, if you're going to get returned, a good place to get returned is all the way right next to your flag when you have a re-grab set up. <laughs> That's true. Uh, with uh, just about a minute left, the Holden Gate Warriors are down 2-3. to three. So one cap advantage, and let's see if they're looking to extend it here. As Legion gets a nice block from Matoy, he's Legion just got one to beat. He's going outside, but he can't get by Iron Ball with a nice grab from him. Matoy was really committed to that block. That was good big, on him. Big money, nice wall juke there as Ralph Wiggum's looking, but he misses it as Matoy. He's the only one to beat here. Luckily, he has a tag pro, so people don't want to mess with him too much right now. That's right. Uh, Legion's going to look to grab the flag and get out here. But Mr. Bucket, if he gets a solo return here, he doesn't. Once again, he's swung hard a couple times this game, and it's been really apparent. And we have less than 30 seconds left. So Holden Gate really has to hurry if they want to get something going right now. That's right. Big Money looking for a return here. Mr. Bucket missing that bomb snipe. We have Lalu flag, so he's doing a good job juking, but now he's got three in front. Big Legion's money looking. Had, Legion's had a lot of holes this game. Three, he three, has. Nice job by one, him. One, one. And we're going to end here with a 3 2 advantage for the Texas Hold'em team. Yeah, Lalu ended up with uh, 2 minutes and 14 seconds of hold. Uh, Yank led the way with 11 returns. Pretty good. Uh, followed by second and with Mr. Bucket's 10 returns. Uh, the longest hold was Big Money. Oh, oh no, actually, Iron Ball had uh, a little bit more hold for. Uh, Holden Gate, so good on him. Uh, real ad advantage in overall hold time for Texas Hold'em as they had almost a minute more hold. Uh, Mr. Bucket really had a couple of sloppy swings on defense, so uh, let's see what they're going to be doing here, if they're going to change any lineups for the second half. 
Yeah, Legion really had the most hold, and I remember I, I do remember him going back and forth on this map a few times, just kind of waiting for base to clear. I mean, there's not much you can do when there's, you know, three people waiting in your base other than go back to their side and hope somebody chases you. That's right. So, uh, standout player, that half for me is going to have to be Legion. He just did a great job for Texas Hold'em to get them that advantage. And like I said before, we're going to see a change in defense as AP, that's me, our originally projected starting defender, is going to be joining Lalu Grumpy on the Holden Gate Warrior side. Yeah, and uh, you know, I really do think Legion was probably the standout player of that half. Uh, oh man, I, I gotta say the biggest play he made, he made was uh, when he was uh, you know, ahead of three, had to get, or ahead of two, had to get around two def uh, offensive, defensive players, took a, a boost into the two side boosts, you know, and kind of worked his way around in a little arc and uh, got like a little uh, hair line cap. That was probably the most interesting cap of the, that game, at least. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to see how Texas Hold'em uh, plays the rest of their offense and defense matches up matchups. Uh, let's see if they're going to put in dodge or see if they're going to put team in and uh, see what they do there. So, uh, speaking about this, we're going to be closing up the Jump Up Challenge soon, so be ready to uh, join up. And in order to join the Jump Up Challenge, go to the Twitch channel if you're not already there. And I don't know how you're hearing this if you're not. Uh, follow Minor League Tag Pro Live, be on North American Mumble, and comment exclamation point jump in the chat as we'll be closing this up as soon. Uh, very, very shortly here, actually. Excuse me. So, uh, just a couple of things. Holden Gate Warriors, what they need to take advantage of is they need to keep the flag in base longer. It was out for almost five minutes here. So, that's the uh, Holden Gate Warriors' real advantage here is they need to be able to just keep the flag in base, play patient. They're only down by one. There's no reason to rush or do anything silly and play way too aggressive. They just calm down, keep the flag in base, and they'll be good to go. Texas Holden did a pretty good job all around, from what I could tell. Um, you know, their flag, their flag carrying was fine. Uh, you know, Matoi Ryoku did a great job uh, throwing some blocks when needed. Uh, the only thing I could think was, you know, their, you know, their flag was out of base a little bit long. Uh, they might want to find some way to play a little bit more prevent, or actually maybe even let them grab and uh, play some predictive defense. But maybe let them grab just so they can return them to clear out their uh, base a little bit. Um, but overall, they did pretty good. I mean, they're up three to two. Can't complain with that. All right, so we're just about to start up here, <laughs> and uh, Darsh is uh, in the chat having I'm having a little chuckle at him getting getting a little bit irritated. He was hoping to join and play the jump up challenge, and we had about six people just come in in the last second to uh, to try to steal his spot. So. Uh, if you want to join the Pump Up Challenge, do it quick. It's about to close, and you're going to need to check your Twitch whispers soon. So be ready to uh, select some Jump Up winners as we're starting this second half year on Constriction. Three, two, one. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Like I said, the, uh, the great thing about the no pups, which I really enjoy, is that the first couple seconds of the game, you don't have that, you know, constant switch that we've seen so many times in Tag Pro, just trying to get the, the right position. And it kind of eliminates the randomness of spawns from that very first part of the game. Yeah, that was the whole point of everybody switching back and forth. That way they can hope and get that spawn they like, you know? And, right. Uh, it does, yeah, it takes a little, away a little bit of the randomness. Um, I don't know whether or not I like it or not. I mean, I do kind of like the, the rush to pups at the beginning because it, it there's a lot of uh, teams that leave their, their flag completely exposed and that used to give away for an easy grab at the beginning. Um, I know it would have been a good thing, but uh, yeah, it's just another way to play it. I, w I would like the rush to pups more if it was if it was equal spawns on both sides guaranteed. Then you'd see a lot more like clever use of boosts and bombs. 
He ain't doing a good job getting that tag pro. Uh, he does what I like to do is, which is after you get the tag pro, try to cr try to kill anybody who's competing with you, uh, of course. But then also on constriction, uh, I like to clog up spaces with the tag pro. I don't like to just sit up, sit near the flag with the tag pro. I like to go into uh, where offense is coming and kind of kill them earlier. Uh, a Lalu Grumpy and AP that's me have been doing a real good job keeping the flag in base, and now Ego has uh, got trying to get out with the flag and just can't get past dodge there. Dink and dodge is definitely taking care of business. Ego has replaced. Uh... I just completely forgot who was in last time. Oh man. Uh... So AP did replace Mr. Bucket, and Big Money, excuse me, is being replaced by Ego. Uh, my apologies there, as yeah, I had, there you go. had a mental lapse. Lalu Grumpy misses a snipe there, lets Legion get out past two, Dodge past three. Trying to meet up Iron Ball. Oh, very nice. Double kill, almost, oh, triple kill by Dodge. Hello, it wasn't really, well, the, the third one wasn't planned, but it worked out. <laughs> They're able to extend their advantage. Uh, four to two overall at one zero this half. So nice use of tag pro there, able to get his uh, flag carrier some room and a cap. Dodge with a nice oh, snipe. Dodge and yank, really just wiping people out, showing everybody why they're in first place. Legion yes. ahead of four. Walking cap there this. from Legion. This is and what's now, so nice about having a solid defense. Dodge and rank really putting on a defensive clinic as Ego and Iron Ball are no slouch when it comes to offense. And we have some pups battles and they're all out to the uh, Holden Gate Warriors. So looking to get something done with it, but they just can't. Need to get a return here as uh, it's just Iron Ball in front for now and all the teams in there. AP, that's me, good use of the tag pro. I Ego should be looking for a solo here or at least contain team long enough for something to happen. Yeah, both Legion and Dodge were going for that return, and AP, that's me, just after that return, just came in and wiped them out with his tag throw. And here's a chance for the Holden Gate Warriors to cap, as there's just two in base. Lolly with a great block, but can't quite get it as Legion and team grabs the flag now, and he's oh, out. Oh, that was great. Great what a, save by what Dodge. What a boost but, by oh, Lolly, though. It was a great boost. AP, that's me with the flag now. Iron Ball's trying to uh, get him something, some space, or go for some pups, it looks like. AP making his own space. That would boost into the bomb. Iron Ball with <laughs> a great block. <laughs> that was a fantastic block there by Iron Ball, but he's unable to get the pup. But he is able to get Ooh, by nice Dodge and Yank. There. And that's <laughs> going to be a cap for team, as he's ahead of yep. four. Yank with a return tag combo there. Yeah, team taking a little bit of a risky boost there. Let's go help out Dodge. Oh, it's like a quick this. Interesting. Iron Ball looking to get out. Dodge will get the return though, and now Legion just needs to get by Ego. Yeah, and there it is. After a close first half, it's now a 4-1 difference. <laughs> and team is now ahead of two as well. Yeah, Texas Holden's doing a good job just playing really smart right now. They're preserving their lead and growing it. They're playing very, They have the opportunity to play very patiently, which is a real advantage for them. Mm -hmm. Iron Ball almost gets sniped by team, but he is ahead of two, looking to come in as Lalu as he's got three in front right yeah, now. Yeah, though. Team also has a Juke Juice. But he's staying very close to... To base and a nice uh, uh, dodge with a nice job getting the return there. He's getting a little bit risky there with his boosts, bombs, and uh, and grabs. He I think he might be figuring that he's up four one. He can might as well uh, take some risks. Yeah, looking for Texas Hold'em to play a lot more patiently than the Holden Gate Warriors. I'm expecting them to really just push hard as they need to put some caps on the board in order to get a win here if they're going to. Yeah, he's just going full bore. He doesn't want to head back, doesn't want to make space. He's just going right at it. He wants those caps. 
Legion with that rolling bomb picks up the flag. He's going to try to get something done here. Even extend the lead. Iron Ball misses the snipe. Like I said, there's, you're going to see some real risky behavior for the Holden Gate Warriors. Yeah, Legion just looked like he he figured his tag pro or his uh, rolling bomb was running out, so he just used it any way he could there. Now it's uh, Iron Ball and Lolu trying to get team contained. Nice use of the boost there by team as he might be able to get past both of them here. And he does. Nice juke there. But he's pinned in that little that little ch corridor right there, if you will. And Yank dodges out really of it too. Yeah, everywhere Yank's been going, he's had a purpose. He's been doing really well this game. AP That's Me had a nice juke on Yank though there. As he's ahead of three. And it's a return for Cap if they push really hard. Nago does! And he does not sit on that flag tile. That might be a difference maker here. Is that's all he had to do. He absolutely had the time. And if he had just sat there for a millisecond longer, it's absolutely a cap. And here's a chance as well as he sneaks oh. in. Nice he job by Good job. He was a couple pixels away from getting returned there. Instead, uh, he's going to be walking away with the first or the, his first cap. Oh, Iron Ball clears things out, gets another tap. Nice They're use. down by two at the moment. They definitely have a chance to get back as their a little bit more risky strategy has been paying off. Yank with a nice job off that boost. I really love uh, using those boosts in the back wall as more than just a go out top or bottom, but bounce off the walls, do some, some nice little tricks with them. Mm -hmm. As they definitely have a lot of uses here. And you'll see Yank go very low on it and able to get out past three. Yank is at a three. Legion's running back to try to get that cap, but Iron Ball is positioned really well with it behind those spikes and make it really hard for a one person return. And pups are coming up now as Ego's gonna try to sneak in. He does beat Dodge on that juke juice, which is a nice job by him. And Legion did a great job to get his tag pro. He ended up spiking afterwards, but he, he really fought well with that. And now Ego gets that return as they have a minute and 30 seconds left to come down from two caps to force some a tie here and uh, team is looking pretty pinned but he's able to get a nice juke and a block by dodge to get him out of there AP that's me holding the flag he gets returned there as Ego's gonna try to grab it and get out team with the flag he's uh, Got, he's pushing. Lalu Grumpy should really look for a kiss here. Is he only has one guy in back? But what a boost or what a juke! Excuse me, along the top. Just barely made it through. Worked out that nicely was for him. Very close. And team with a nice. Oh, uh, uh, Yank's gonna grab that tag pro. Lalu Grumpy's looking for that mid, and he's a half second delayed there. If he just stayed a little bit longer, he would have been able to grab that rolling bomb. <laughs> and team had a nice juke there. I guess uh, Ego trying to fly through. Yeah, like I said, you're seeing some risky strats here. They need two caps in 30 seconds, and they need a return, and they need it now. Ego gets it, but Iron Ball's out. Legion's still in base. He's got three in front of him and a return from Lalu. He just needs a block on Yank as Dodge is going to grab that flag and get out. Nice job by Dodge to really end any possible last-second caps for the Holden Gate Warriors. Yeah, and Legion uh, gets that final return. That's pretty much going to do it for this game. Yank three, has three seconds two, to get to the end, but he's one. not going to be able to. And that'll end the second half on Constriction. A 4-3 victory in the half for Texas Hold'em. And an overall 7-5 victory here. Yep, and the GG's reign through. Everybody's uh, congratulating themselves on a good game. It was fun, entertaining to watch. Uh, it's interesting to note that Team, while having three times the hold time that Legion did, Legion ended up having three caps. Uh, his, his, I mean, he was ahead of four more often than Legion, than, uh, Team was. That was some, uh, good work with the tag pros by them. As we're just about to start here, uh, great, great half, or great game, excuse me, from Texas Hold'em. And, uh, standout player for that game. I, the game overall, I'm going to give it to Yank. I think on defense, he really held it down and kept, uh, Iron Ball and Ego to very minimal grabs and hold, just not an easy task for any defender. I agree. Um, so, uh, Yank and Dodge started out that game with, I think, maybe three full minutes of, you know, of almost no escapes off of, out of their base. 
Uh, but while they produced no escapes, Legion was the one who was grabbing and making use of that of that uh, empty base to get three caps. So it's a it's a tough one. I'm just gonna give it to all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> and team, you know, that, that was a full team effort. And team goes with saying that uh, he was the one who held for three full minutes on that, on that half at least. Uh, really, really good uh, run all around. Um, Golden Gate Warriors did a really good job at, you know, making a comeback attempt. Uh, just needed a little bit more time. And here we go. We're just about to start this jump up challenge. Uh, taking a look at the leaderboard, Fractal, Mr. Jehovah, and Beast Motor in those coveted top three slots. You're looking at getting 324 to, to beat any of those guys. So uh, in today's challenge, we have Canvas, Protagonist, and Catalyst. They are our three competitors. So that's who we're uh, looking at for this jump up challenge. And I'm ready for an exciting halftime show. Are you, Surf? Oh, absolutely. I'm personally gonna back protagonist. Uh, what about you? Why don't you, why don't we make it interesting and uh, and take our guesses? I'm going to take Catalyst. I don't know. There's something about it. I feel like he's gonna do a good job. I know Protag's got all the skills, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the underdog here. All right. You know what that means? That means everybody else in the world is rooting for Canvas. All right. Everyone in chat rooting for Canvas. You just let us know. As we are just about to start here. And uh, I, I love this map, uh, made by uh, Liquid, one of our very own here, it does a great job making maps, so uh, props to Liquid and props to Adarsh for running it, and I am looking forward to a, uh, a really great map and a really great game. Alright, looks like we were about to start in about 10 seconds here. Canvas has a really good spot to start, uh, you know, taking if it takes up that boost Three, top right, two, you know, he can get a one. lot to start off with. And nice job by him. Canvas starts out with the uh, the early lead, but Sumball 2, who is uh, my tag catalyst, is now at 120 already. He's been doing a great job. Yeah. Well, and, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and apologize to Protagonist. I should have never, never backed him. He's almost like a curse. <laughs> yeah, Protagonist just hasn't been taking great maps, or great routes right now. They've already been covered. But he did a good job, and Sunball too, with the kill there off the ball. Brutal by him. And he's at 280. It doesn't look like we'll have anyone hit that leaderboard without a, a real crazy finish as he needs about 30 bucks. And I don't even think there's that many left. Very close match. No, I don't think there is. Is the guy you that you with me? Campus is coming from behind to take the lead with five oh, seconds left. He <laughs> he's got it. He's <laughs> got it right here. Unless, and he does with exactly oh, 300 bucks. Campus well, comes from Kansas. behind. Congratulations, Campus. You're going to be up uh, just missing the leaderboard. You needed 301 to join a Darsh there. And... Uh, you should have taken him out. That first doesn't deserve to be on that leaderboard. So, congratulations <laughs> to Canvas. He's our jump up winner. And I'm unfortunate that he was one pump away from knocking a Darsh off that leaderboard, which would have made my day. And don't feel bad, protagonist. My my backing you probably uh, probably cursed you. So don't worry about it. It wasn't you. It was me. See, mine uh, mine was the the overall clear winner at the beginning, who just gets uh, taken advantage of at the end. Just unfortunate. <laughs> Oh, that was fun to watch. I really like that. What a fun game. It really is. And we're just about to start here on our second map. Uh, I know it's hard to come back to actual competitive Tag Pro after that jump up. We're going to get right into it as they're going to be starting relatively shortly here. Uh, going on to Thinking with Portals, which is... I'm so thrilled that this was the community map. I know a lot of people... It's a very de decisive map. But you either like it or you absolutely despise it. So I'm a huge fan of Thinking with Portals. I just love the chaos. It makes my job as a play-by-play -play commentator so much more difficult. And for that, <laughs> I really do like it. I am I am on that uh, opposite end of you. Um, I, I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. Um, as a player, I didn't like the fact that you couldn't game plan. Like you really had to wing it most of the time. And uh, coming from you know my time playing at the game, I, I used to like 
focusing and planning everything ahead of time and, and making sure everybody knew where they were supposed to be and what they were supposed to do. And with this map, no, that does not happen. You go all over the place and you wherever you end up is where you are and you make the best out of every situation. It does make for entertaining play though. We'll it see how many caps does. we get. So uh, Big Money is replacing Echo once again, but AP That's Me is staying in Three, on defense with two, Lalu Grumpy. One. One, one, one. Big Money is starting off on offense, which is uh, expected. Yank and Ralph Wiggum are starting on defense for Texas Holden. And Team with a nice job getting the flag. He's got a block from Legion, and he's going to be out. But a nice snipe by Lalu. He has another interesting strategy. Uh, Texas Hold'em is almost letting them grab, and Ralph Wiggum was waiting for him. That exit portal is a really huge advantage, and uh, it, you almost essentially have to have a defender sitting on it, and then that forces them to go out through one of the boosts here. Yeah, both teams are playing it that way, and Lolo Grumpy plays exactly how he should, which is uh, if they don't take the, if they don't go through the portal, you got to use those boosts to snipe, to snipe them. This is uh, going to be a game of who's got the best snipes on defense, and Lalu Grumpy's been showing that he's got great at it, but his team's just been letting them out too far, and I haven't seen the flag go out to even close to the halfway mark for the uh, Holden Gate Warriors, but now this is uh, very dangerous for them, as we have Iron Ball with a tag pro. They try yeah, to Lalu force... Grumpy has one as well. Holden Gate has two tag pros right now. And Ralph Wiggum needs to get... Uh, which, uh, excuse me, tagged here. And a nice block by AP, that's me for the first cap of the game. Those uh, pup timers starting at exactly zero, and the Holden Gate Warriors are able to get three pups. That's just almost unheard of. There were zero pup battles that uh, the Texas Hold'em team won there. Yeah, Texas Hold'em needs to remember those power-up signs. Lalu Grumpy with the flag now. He had the chance to go through portal as they have the team off of that uh, exit portal there. But uh, here's the dangerous situation as Iron Ball needs to stay alive. And Ralph Wiggum almost gets the snipe there. Nice job by uh, Iron Ball to just get him off. Very close. And we're back to reset again. And uh, two to one, the pup advantage going to Holden Gate right now. Yep. I really like the way Lalu Grumpy played that, getting the top pup and then using the bomb to boost back down bottom and try to get the bottom pup. Yeah, great job by him. He's uh, really showing some bomb and boost skills, and that's what you absolutely need here on this map. Team with a great block on him, though. Yeah. Stops yeah. him from getting the, uh, the flat. That is a count. Yeah. That was a, a really well-timed block by Team. He stops him from using that boost. And that's going to give him a uh, real difficult time. If you can't use that boost to, to return flag carriers, you are just absolutely trapped. It looked like Lalu Grumpy was almost playing, uh, uh, holding back and playing anti-regrab, but then he decided to step away. In this game, you have a lot of uh, quick caps, so anti-re can be a, a pretty good way to stop any sort of train. And we've got a bunch of juke jukes here, juke jukes. Uh, one for big money, Ralph Wiggum and team. It's, uh, it's, uh, all three pups are juke juices. Do you think juke juices matter more or matter less with so many team tiles? Uh, I mean, it's actually only really beneficial for a flag carrier because then they get the uh, juke juice and have an advantage on those team tiles where they normally would have a disadvantage. Yeah, but with team tiles being so big, if you're if you're just chasing up and down, you can just move on to your side and chase that way a little bit faster. Right. But uh, as a as a flag carry, you you uh, you getting that juke juice uh, since team tiles do not function for you guys. It's a real clear advantage for them. Absolutely. Big money holding off Legion. Legion's kind of waiting there. Oh, wow. Very, perfectly very, timed there very by. Uh, snipe. <laughs> yeah, that was perfectly timed for the Texas Hold'em team. Great as Lalu, Lalu Grumpy's got a tag pro in base, he's not getting anywhere with that one. Big money gonna try to get team on those team tiles. That team tiles. 
<laughs> that's literally the stupidest thing I've Oh, uh, man. All right. <laughs> that was that was the dumbest thing I think I've ever been amused by in my life. <laughs> you know, when team when, when team made his name, he's probably thinking to himself, "Somebody's gonna love this." <laughs> and now we found who, who that person is. I I really enjoy if I'm playing with him to just say like, "Team, please." If my uh, team does yeah. if, if my team does something wrong, that's and a, then that's you don't a good get one. For it. Right. Well, potentially. <laughs> Two uh, pups for AP. That's me there for Texas or for Ro Holding Gate Warriors. Excuse me. We've got two hold teams, so I'm having a little bit of a verb verbal assault there. Yeah, hold times on this map are almost definitely going to be a lot less than we saw in Constriction. This is not a map where you can run around for too long. Not with all these uh, bombs and boosts to use to snipe people. And once you get in base, the base is even smaller than the, the middle of the map, so if you're heading into base, that means you're already ready to cap. Mm -hmm. Or you're just trying to risk something and hope something happens. Yeah, once you, once you go past that outer wall that the exit portal's on, you're essentially giving teams opportunities to snipe you, opportunities to get portal returns or portal boosts into those spikes or it's uh it's just difficult once you go past that point uh if if you're not in a clear chance for a cap and now big money's got a uh, some work cut out for him is yank had no one chasing him for the longest time he was deciding to kiss there he didn't have to just kind of, I guess maybe he's just tired of holding. <laughs> he's actually got the most hold time out of anybody, I believe. And now here's a cap for Legion. No, he misses oh. the portal. That's a uh, that's gonna be a one that they come back and look at and real disappointed with. Is Legion had that cap? There was nothing to stop him, and he just missed. Yeah, you know this happened to all of us. I'm sure he's not happy with it, but. Hopefully it doesn't, uh, doesn't make him upset for the rest of this time. He's been playing well so far. And here we go, waiting for some pups here as team... He ain't lining up his boost. Oh, just take too long to take it. Nice bomb there by Big Money to get his team that juke juice. And yeah, tag pro. make things very interesting. You never... It's hard to keep track of who's on what bomb. Absolutely. <laughs> Lolly Grumpy with that lawnmower there, tag pro juke juice combo. Just clears it out as uh, Big Money has a real opportunity here. Iron Ball gets a defusal, and then Yank's able to get by Lalu Grumpy. Made really good use of his rolling bomb there. Absolutely did, and a yeah, nice the juke there. pretty much saved him a cap. And it did, That's a was a clear cap coming in. Lalu's pushing hard for a return as Iron Ball's waiting there, and he gets returned by Wiggum. Legion has some good decision making. The seeing top plugged up, Slowly goes down bottom because he knows he's the last person to he's the last person uh, on their team out there. If he gets returned, that's a cap. But slowly makes his way down bottom where nobody is. Takes his time for his team to get ahead. And here we go with the chance for team. team. Oh, and <laughs> you never know if the bombs are going to come up and kill you. And all three pups here for Texas Hold'em, seeing if they can take advantage of it. We have under two minutes left to go, and Legions just got two in front of them with that juke juice. Oh, but Lalu Grumpy able to use those team tiles effectively. Yeah, we're and, trying to make those team tiles for an advantage again. Oh, we, and team, oh, team's gonna come here over an easy cap. Yeah! Oh, nice job by ahead. Texas Hold'em to give him the advantage there. A little too much death for our blue team. And Legion's Legion, out past two. Nice yeah, job by Legion. Nobody was covering that portal. He just boosted right at flag and took that portal. Lalu Grumpy's doing a nice job holding the flag for uh, the Holden Gate Warriors. Top Wiggum just flying all over the place. <laughs> That's one of the most interesting parts about thinking with portals is just... And he goes for the kiss and misses it. This is dangerous here. As Yank almost oh, gets sniped by Lalu. Yank decided to kiss. It looks like Big Money was going for the same thing. I don't really think that was a smart kiss for him, but it almost worked out as Ralph Wiggum just barely misses the snipe on AP, that's me. And 
And with 23 seconds left, it's a 2-1 advantage here for Texas Hold'em. Iron Ball with the flag. Big Money with a nice snipe. AP That's Me gets returned by Yank. And we're looking at 10 seconds left. And if we can see a last second cap, Big Money does a great job. He could be out past three. He's yeah, boosting low. Seconds. He's got to push three, it hard. He doesn't two, have time to juke around. One, He's got to uh, push that faster. As he had a clear opportunity and just couldn't do anything with it. Good half. Good half. Remember what I said about this map not having so much hold time? Well, forget that. Team decided to show me up and uh, go with four minutes of hold time in this map. One cap. Uh... To me, he was probably the player of the of the of this half. Um, when you can keep the flag out of base that long and keep uh, defense out of the portal right out of that uh, that defensive portal exit, uh, that's a big deal. And I think that's what gave his team that extra cap that they needed just to be able to get out of base easily. That's right. Nice job by Texas Hold'em, taking a 2-1 advantage in that first half. But it definitely could have been a lot bigger. There's a lot of uh, plays that they weren't able to take advantage of. So, uh, standout player for that half, I have to agree with you. I think uh, team with just a ridiculous amount of hold time. Great job juking around in the middle. Good use of the bombs. And uh, just they're just able to take advantage of it for that 2-1 lead. And we'll see if they can either extend it or if the Holden Gate Warriors are going to come back and try to win this second half. Yeah, you know, they're only up by one, and with thinking with Portal's map, it could be anybody's game. There's absolutely no way that you can guarantee uh, another, you know, just being up by one does not guarantee you anything in, holding, in thinking with Portal's. Alright, so uh, while we have to take a minute here for these teams to get settled, we're going to talk a little bit about the upcoming matches. Uh, here at in week nine, we have the <clears throat> Texas Hold'em is going to be taking on the Tears Miners team, another team that's uh, relatively close to playoff contention. So let's see, uh, seeing if they'll be able to keep up their strong season that they've had so far. And uh, for the Holden Gate Warriors, they're going to be taking on the OK Hens, another tough, uh, tough outing for them as they've, they're playing some of the top teams in the Pacific, or in the Western Conference, excuse me, in these next upcoming weeks. Yeah, shout out to BG, who's always online on the OK Hens channel. <laughs> so let's see, we're getting set up here for uh, for game two, half two on Centra. And Mr. Bucket coming back on defense for the Holden Gate Warriors. Uh, I could could be a good play as you know thinking with portals does require a little bit more aggressive style and mr bucket was being incredibly aggressive on that first half of constriction so seeing if they're able to keep it up as they just might be able to do yeah it looks like uh ralph wiggum is coming in is or staying it looks like uh texas holdem is not making any changes so the team that usually <laughs> rotates around looks like it's staying the same right now so uh do you want to make any predictions? Do you want to see what? Do you want to guess what's going to happen in game two, half two? I expect uh, this one to be a lot higher scoring. I mean, this is the home server here for, uh, excuse me, for the Holden Gate Warriors versus the Sphere for Texas Hold'em. I think uh, that'll give uh, Lalu, Grumpy, Ego, and Iron Ball a little bit of advantage as they're all very close to the center server. So let's see if they can take advantage of home server here as they did play much closer on their home server than they did on the uh, on the opposing server against uh, Texas Hold'em. Yeah, it's going to be exciting here with thinking with Portal. You know, every extra uh, few milliseconds of ping matter, um, especially on such a fast-paced map. And uh, we're about to get started now. So uh, Texas Hold'em has a chance to take a full two-game win, or Holden Gate Warriors was only one cap behind to take a, a tie or potentially split the series 1-1. Absolutely. So uh, while we wait here for a couple seconds, I'm going to bring up some some other interesting facts here. Uh, Iron Ball and myself are, are very close friends, except for the time that uh, he did almost kick me off his channel as a commentator. Uh, anyone who knows Why me Why would knows he do that? So uh, when, myself and my good friend Salty Vic Three, tend to two, commentate in a one. more free-form manner. And we spent the first nine minutes and thirty seconds of the uh, the half talking about nothing but uh, 
uh, women that we find attractive instead of the actual <laughs> tag pro game. And so, I, Iron Ball didn't let that continue. Iron Ball, why? <laughs> why would you do such a thing? He uh, he didn't appreciate us uh, not talking at all about tag pro for like 13 straight minutes. So. <laughs> uh, okay, well I understand Iron Ball's uh, side of the story, but. You know, I'm on your side right now because we're commentating together. <laughs> and starting out for this first minute, no real uh, significant action. A, a grab by Mr. Bucket and a great one at that as he's ahead of two, looking for that boost uh, as Legion's able to get it. Iron Ball's got a chance to get ahead of three, and he does. Yank's the only one stopping him right now, and he can't oh, get well by him. Oh, well by Yank, and with the escape. Yank is just taking care of business on his own right now. And all Taking three pups for Texas hold him dangerous situation here as uh, Lulu Grumpy needs to stay alive for a little bit as Yank has that Tag Pro Legion has that Juke Juice. And Yank is positioning himself in front of that boost. Oh, clears out. Iron Ball does a nice job just, getting out. Uh, team, if he gets returned here, could be dangerous as Iron Ball is sitting on that flag for just a couple seconds. And a nice Juke by Iron Ball past Legion. Does a great job getting out of what looked like a pretty much guaranteed return by Ralph Wiggum and Legion. There you go. Just leisurely escaping. Oh, and no. Lone Grumpy with a bomb! Oh, putting him right in for the cap. Yeah, he, ha he had all the time in the world. Just decided to rush things for some reason and uh, you know, took that long boost across. Ended up just running into another player uh, and giving uh, Hold uh, Texas Hold'em the easy, easy cap. Team's got a chance to get a cap here as well, but he doesn't. He boosts back out. Well, Lou Grumpy grabbing that juke juice, and he'll be able to get a defusal here as Team does pick up that rolling bomb. Yeah, Team heading heading back to uh, the original base, which makes it harder for Legion to escape. But he's going to be able to as a boost spawns low giving him an out here as he's now ahead, and Lolly Grumpy uses those team tiles to his advantage there. Well, team, the old master of last game, seems to be doing pretty well this game. And a nice job Although this avoiding is not this. where he wants to be. He does not want to be lounging around in uh, red tiles. He does do a nice job avoiding a snipe by Lalu, but just is unable to get much done here as Lalu's waiting for him still. And a great juke to get by Ego. As we have a, a very close cap, but Mr. Bucket's able to get out. It's one nothing. Texas Hold'em. As this really puts a bind on uh, <clears throat> the Holden Gate Warriors and some more pups for Texas Hold'em again. Hey, you know, I'm learning something about Team. While uh, while while playing uh, Constriction, it looked kind of like he was being a little bit hasty and taking and taking things too quickly. Uh, right, you know, playing this map, he just looks like he's taking his time. Looks like he's very concentrated. Makes sense why he has such a high uh, offensive gas. Yeah, and you're seeing a lot of inexperience here from Holden Gate Warriors. That's not surprising as both Lulu Grumpy and, <clears throat> excuse me, Lulu Grumpy is absolutely a first-time Miners player, but he's not really showing it. They do have a lot of uh, first-time Miners players here on Holden Gate Warriors, and that's uh, AP, that's me in the last half, is also a first-time Miners, as well as uh, Notpre, who was going to be starting tonight before he got grounded. <laughs> Always oh, a it's a uh, nice way to take away that power up. And this gives uh, a real advantage to team as Mr. Bucket's got to do something here, and he gets returned. Oh, and that, that team comes in for the easy cap there. Saw the return coming. Excuse me. So yeah, there's grounded. Getting grounded is interesting. <laughs> what was the last time you were grounded? God. 2004? <laughs> 2004. 12 years ago. So, but uh, we do have to remember a lot of these tag pro players are, you know, younger kids. Oh, of but course. Even then, I, mean, I was I was never grounded as a, as a kid. I in for the easy cap there. Face is wide open. Uh, Mr. Bucket was blocking out Legion for, for days over there. There you go, with a great uh, kind of hesitation boost there. Uh, fooling the whole the uh, Texas Hold'em team as 
you know, their defense boosted straight out, and he boosted off that little block there. And another oh, cap. Oh, nice. Ego does a great job, and he hashtag toasts them <laughs> as Iron Ball's looking to walk in oh, for a cap Iron as Ball well. Oh, chance there. Just, uh, could make that corner. Oh, does make the corner. Oh, this is now interesting. We are as, tied. As we have a tie game now, as three quick caps, Ego is just rocking that hashtag toasted. <laughs> Back to being grounded, you know, uh, it's not just for younger people. I, I live kind of close to my parents, and I still feel like I'm grounded every now and again. I'm in my 30s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't lived near my parents in almost 12 years, and Leech is going to walk in for an easy cap here. Yep. Two quick flaccids, and that's going to give them a one cap advantage again. Yeah. They needed that. They absolutely did. Uh, Holden Gate, though, still has all the momentum. So let's see if they can capitalize on it. Legion just going around collecting power up. <laughs> he got all three of them. <laughs> Doesn't even all worry three of those it. pups for Legion. They're, 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 they're going to need that if they're going to need to keep up their uh, their one point advantage. Unfortunately for him, they were two rolling bums that He's were defusing three. He might be ahead of. Oh. Can he get Mr. there? Yes, Bucket. a great block oh, by Yank. Well done. What a block by Yank to give him that cap there. Yeah, he came in. He had a he had a mission there. He knew what he was doing the whole way across. And we're back to a two cap advantage. It's been back and forth here for these past couple of minutes. Team seems to really enjoy bo uh, bombing all the way from top to bottom and bottom to top. Hold it. Uh, we're having some notes from our our sister channel MLTP Live. Uh, talking about a possible three cap comeback for Holden Gate Warriors if they can accomplish it. Pretty much the second time in two nights for them, both their minors and their majors teams. So look forward to them as Mr. Bucket and he thinks about that boost and just doesn't take it. It's Ralph Wiggum's now ahead of three and a chance for a this cap and he'll get it. And I don't think we're seeing that three cap Holden Gate Warriors comeback unless <laughs> something crazy happens. But Ego no, has a great point. seconds. Ego had a great portal there, as he was able to uh, boost, boost one of the defenders into those spikes, giving him some chance. And oh, what a what a Lola, Lola last Grumpy. second time! Well done. Lalu. Legion didn't even see it coming. Looks like gives him a nice little nice one uh, chat. <laughs> a nice one in, in his own team chat, hilariously <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah. So Lalu can't see it. Oh yeah, good point. He didn't want to give Lalu uh, too big of a head. That was really nice, though. I didn't see that coming. That is kind of like what Legion did in game one half or game two half one as well. I, I gave I gave uh, Lalu the credit that he deserved, so he now knows <laughs> that he was nice one. There you go. And Ralph Wiggum's out ahead, and he hits that oh, bomb backwards. The bomb Luckily, backwards. he's still able to get that rolling bomb. As Ego gets returned by team there, and we're looking at a couple of. Uh, Chances here as Legion goes ahead of three. Legion's been ahead a whole bunch, but he team's has. been doing the carrying mostly. Legion, again, this is another instance where team's been doing the holding and Legion's been doing the capping. Yes, he has. Legion with uh, three of the five caps. And team, while he does have two minutes and 30 seconds of hold, only has one cap. Yank, knowing exactly where to be. And team has a chance to get another cap, but Ego's there instead. Yeah, Ego wasn't gonna let that happen. He was just kind of holding off. Iron Ball was hoping for the portal to show up. Legion just took care, took care of it. Team now has the uh, a rolling bomb, but Mr. Bucket's out, and team gets returned once again. Team with a long hold and not able to capitalize. We're just yeah, about 40, another, 40 seconds one of those left here. Tasty flag carrier carrying moments you know he's either uh it seems like he's taking a lot of time or he's making hasty decisions um i don't know which way it works but you know what his offensive gas is better than mine so i'm gonna say he knows what he's doing i have to agree we have just under 30 seconds left it's a three cap advantage overall and a two cap half advantage for texas hold'em and unless something absolutely insane happens in the next 15 seconds i think it's going to be a sweep here for the Texas Hold'em team as team's sitting there a minute almost gets sniped by Iron Ball and has the last Three, second chance for a cap. Can team come one, in for a cap at the end? No, he can't. Nope. But they both got two cap flags and uh, that's always fun for our European players. <laughs> <laughs> 
team had all around. three minutes and 30 seconds to hold absolutely insane here. Yeah, again, this was, like I said, the, this was another instance of team doing a lot of holding. He did get one cap, good for him. Yank doing a lot, having actually a lot of prevent. 22 returns for Yank. Great job keeping the flag in base for uh, Legion to come in and cap. Legion ended up with three caps in that game. And uh, talking about a standout player here, I'm going to have to say that Yank is a standout player. Of the whole two games in the sweep uh, by Texas Hold'em, as he just held down the defense and constantly harassed the flag carriers for the Hold'em Gay Warriors. He absolutely did do a great job, and Legion was really the beneficiary of all that. Coming in with, what, I think it was eight caps in between these two games? Um... Yeah, he, he's not getting those caps if Yank and Dodge and Ralph and uh, you know the rest of the team didn't keep the flag there for him. Um, uh, and team, surprisingly enough, lots and lots of hold time on uh, on thinking with portals. You know, he, that's a it seems like it's second nature to him. Uh, so let's see. As we're thinking about this, let's see. I'm gonna say the whole clutch play of this entire two games is going to go to Legion though. Uh, giving, you know, in game one, half one, uh, Legion coming in and taking the lead with that really hairline, uh, cap, uh, when he boosted it from, uh, took from like middle boost to wall boost to wall boost to the flag. Uh, that, that really did set the tone, I think, for Texas Hold'em and just got them rolling. Uh, and I think that's probably the clutch play of both of these games. So I believe we're going to start doing interviews here with the captains uh, once we get them or once we go to their channels. What? And uh, we've brought in Time Boy as a captain to hey, uh, Time Boy to interview hey. him here. Good to see you, man. What? Wow. Yeah, I'm sort of minus captain, I guess. <laughs> what are your thoughts of these games? Um, I'm extremely relieved because I was still kind of bummed out from last night. So it's always good to see our miners do well. Also, we we lost a game each of the past two weeks, but both of them were on pilot. So I really wanted to see us dominate it again, like on a non on non pilot maps. So it's pretty You're really, good to see. Uh, tell your me what you guys did. Your miners team is uh, really pushing themselves into the top seed in the conference and have almost solidified that. Uh, how are you guys going to keep up your success for the playoffs? Um, that's a good question. At this point, we kind of switched around the way we distribute minutes, but that was only because practice attendance wasn't very good this week. Um, we're probably going to keep rotating a lot, even in the playoffs. I can see us rotating people in and out when needed based on the map. And that's... I think the top teams in the conference, that's worked pretty well for all of them. Like, OK Hens are really, they're even, I think they're bigger sticklers about rotating than we are. So uh, you're looking to keep up that rotation for your upcoming yeah. matches? As so, long as people show up to practice. This week was a little different. You saw Legion get 40 minutes. You guys got show 10. Up practice. <laughs> yep. So, uh, Talking about something, what are you guys going to take? What, what do you not appreciate your team doing in those games? Is there anything that you can really improve upon or learn from, from uh, these two games here? Not too much. Our defense was ridiculous on TWP. Um, I mean, team got nub stepped, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, but Yank ended up getting 22 returns on set game two, half two, and that's yeah, the important not, one. I don't think we swept. I'm not really unhappy about anything. Actually, our <laughs> OD on Constriction was pretty terrible. That almost right. led a, to a comeback for them. But so, normally yeah. we're good with that, so I, I don't care. Always always good to learn from your victories uh, as well, so glad that yeah. you guys are going to take the, take some uh, take some knowledge from even the wins to imp try to improve for the upcoming uh, playoffs, and hopefully you guys will be able to make a run at the uh, Mooper Ball. Yep, it's looking pretty good right now. Uh, Alright, Time Boy, any, anything else you, uh, you want to say to your team here on the stream? Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to anybody nope. who knows what that means, you know what you you know who you are, and you know what that means. That's what he's saying. <laughs> thank you so much, Time Boy. Up. Nah, I'm good. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much, Time Boy, for joining us. Uh, Time Boy, the Miners captain of Texas Hold'em, joined us here after his team's uh, swept the Holden Gate Warriors.
Uh, Take care, time boy. <laughs> All right, thank you guys all for joining us this evening. Thank you to Pithy for running the stream, uh, Surf as my co-commentator, and Adarsh for helping out with chat and running the Jump Up Challenge. If you like the stream, uh, make sure you follow us on Twitch and join us every Monday for entertaining and high-quality broadcasts. Let's also not forget to thank Liquid, who also did a great job running the halftime show. And uh, don't forget to thank yourself. You did a great job. You really carried me this whole way through. <laughs> well, thank you, Surf. It was a pleasure to co-commentate with you. I'm glad we had a, a, a amusing time here together. And I'm Second Skin, signing off for this week, and see you all next Monday. All right, guys. Take care.